Hola, I'm Darkies and welcome to my studio. On this video I'm going to be painting a forest as my background and a witch. The supplies list is in the description and also at the end of this video. And I'm using the same color palette that I use for the pumpkin and the crow which is the intrigue color palette. So for this painting, even though I'm using the same color palette as the one of the two previous paintings, I wanted to change it up just a bit and instead of doing the background with the typical green on the bottom, I decided to go with yellow ochre and blue as my background. Here I'm putting clips to my Fabriano Studio 8x10 because it minimizes the warping. So the other day I was listening to this artist, his name is Jose Trujillo and he was talking about taking action and how when he started taking more action in his life and his career was when things started to turn around for him. And this has happened to me as well that I have noticed every time I start painting more, uploading more, posting more, I start seeing results. But then unconsciously I start sabotaging myself. And I start doubting and overthinking just about everything. Whenever I notice this pattern, I start trying to think my way out of it. By reading or listening to inspirational stuff, positive thinking and so on. And it works sometimes, but not all the time. So this brings me back to what he said, to take action even when you can't change your thoughts. And I'm definitely going to start practicing this more. If you have any tips that work for you every time or most of the time, let us know in the comments below. Okay, so at this stage I start painting my branches using cold gray and ultramarine blue. And I'm using my triple zero size brush. Now making my forest darker using shading gray. And here I begin painting my little witch using cold gray and ultramarine blue. I want her skin to be green so I mix several shades of green and I use cold gray, raw umber and green. I forgot which green I use, I think this one is a phthalo. Then I moved to her hair but after placing the hair I realized that she needed to be bigger because I thought that the background just overpowered the figure. So I wanted to upload this video on Halloween but as you can see that didn't happen but I hope that you still like it. For the background I wanted a metallic element so I ended up using the pale gold. And I used a palette knife to add texture to it. At this point I wasn't sure what I wanted to do for her outfit. I wasn't sure if to go for a dress or with flowers and I ended up going with roses. And the three colors that I picked for my roses were the cinnamon blue, the black pearl, and the silver. Here I start focusing more on the values and I also start doing more details on her face. Then I add more detail to the ear and more highlights to her face. If you would like to know how to draw ears, I made a video on it and I'll be uploading it soon.
I now lay down the shadows of my roses using iron oxide black. I put more shadows on the ear and then I move on to the makeup and the eyelashes. And for this I'm using an acrylic brush size triple zero. For her makeup, I tried out first the black makeup, but I thought that the purple was gonna look better. So I changed it, but before changing it, I made sure to lay down some pink to give my purple some warmth. I'm adding some dark values because I felt that her face was blending too much to the background. Here I'm playing with her hair and adding more layers. To me painting is like a dance where I keep on adding or moving different things and different parts of the painting as I continue with the process. At this stage I start finalizing the painting and doing the last details and this is usually the part that takes me the longest. Here's the finished piece. And here are the other two paintings I did using the same palette. I'll leave their links on the description. I'm also really excited to let you know that I'll be participating at the University of Miami's Art Festival on January 12th and 13th and if you're in the area, I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, don't forget to like, sub and share.
If you like to be notified every time I post a video, make sure to hit the bell.